Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. JC here with another video on Action Timing. Today we're gonna check another VR builds, but before we start, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So for these VR builds, we're gonna do kind of the same thing that we did before, but we're gonna enhance it even more. So last time we checked protect type builds, pure protect, but now we're gonna combine two traits. It's gonna be protect and demon. So everything in the team is going to revolve around those two traits, okay? If you go to the characters and you use the filter, you're gonna see that our selection of characters gets reduced. We only have five characters who can work on this kind of composition. It's gonna be Kurenai, Lapis, Lina, Ingrid, and Kirara. To say the truth, the ones that you want to use always are going to be Lapis and Lina. And the third slot you can equip, uh, you can select whichever character you want. Like, I think the most efficient would be either Kirara as a support or Ingrid as a damage dealer. But in my case, I'm going to use uh, Kurenai. I, I might. I will, I will do another run, specifically uh, right now in this video, I'll, I'll do two runs and I'll change Lina and Kurenai for Kirara and Ingrid to show you how good this is or how synergistic it is. The thing is that we're going to abuse a plethora of effects that is going to make our team really, really strong. So, first Shirenai, no, no, not Shirenai, Kurenai. Kurenai is going to be Protect Demon She's already maxed out. And she's going to revolve around her weapon, her limited weapon. Like this specific build. You can build her different if you want. But you're going to see why I focus on this. She's going to be Fire, Magatama, Santi Demon. Which are, are going to inflict burn onto the enemy. I'm also going to use a lot the active of Dines, Dines, Leaf, Dines Leaf. I think that's how you say it. So I need to charge a lot of particles. If you want to use this strategy, but you do not want to pilot uh, Kurenai, be sure to activate the weapon active. Then I'm going to be using the Viridian Karma Daggers on the other one, both 5 out of 5, this one plus 15, this one plus 13, whatever, Maga Tamas. Basic Enhancer to increase my particle charge. Howling Wind, because it is a pretty good attack and it's the all color, color attack. Unfortunately, the effect enhances critical. But we might do crits. You, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Then we have Storm Fang. Storm Fang is, ju is just going to be a good AoE that inflicts a great debuff. That's about it. Like, if you pilot this character, you might use, you may use Deflective Wind. I do not recommend it. Like, in VR, counters are not that good unless there's a bunch of mobs. Or you uh, activate them on the right moment. If you don't and the enemy just goes to another character, you're going to be stuck in that stance forever. So you don't want that. Uh, you may change the skills however you like, but these are the ones that I recommend. Then, for supporters. Yeah, I know, it's silly. We're going to use, first of all, Micah. And Micah is going to help out the protective characters by giving them critical chance. That's something that we want, especially considering the fact that my skill deals, deals more damage, the all color skill deal, deals more damage when I land a crit. Also, this is going to increase my particle charge and it's going to give me more attack if I abuse the particle charge, which is very likely against Queen Kanalua. We're going to see how effective it is. Then I can also increase my particles by two particles whenever I use the active. That's another great thing. So, yeah, this is a really strong supporter for Kurenai. I'm going to use Misaki to increase my damage just like that. And I'm going to use Hikage. Like, she isn't the best. She's not going to increase everything else, but I'm trying to abuse the weapon active. So, for that specific purpose, it's actually a good supporter because it increases particle charge and also skill damage of the weapon active. 
if you want to change Chikage for something else, like more generic, that's going to be fine. Lo only only Torajiro, you cannot use this one. Um, Torajiro, for example, you can also use uh, who else? Like if you do want to crit, you may use critical rate uh, supporters. But as always, it's kind of not the most consistent thing. I'm, I'm trying to do this and land a lucky critical hit, and that's about it, to increase my damage a little bit, but not that much. Then, obviously we're using Lapis as a healer, because we are not using healing uh, on these two characters. So, for Lapis, we're using Shikigiri, and guess what? We're using Bright and a Rose. Ice and Water Anti-Demon Magatamas, a whatever weapon 5 out of 5 plus 15, both weapons plus 15 and 5 out of 5, whatever Magatamas, Piercing Dash, Gem Support, Moral Boost, the classic, you know? And what do we have here? Oops, that was my controller and it's gonna do silly things. Uh, give me one moment, because it's gonna do that thing that it always does. Let's see. Is it better? Yeah, it, it's better. It's better, yeah. Because it usually does something very silly when it disconnects and I reconnect it. So, um, Moral Boost, Piercing Dash. So why do we have these characters here? So, Bright and Rose is going to allow us to crit more often. And it's going to pair well with um, Micah. Future Micah, you know, because that gives me more critical rate and I'm going to be able to land more crits, thus reducing the, well, increasing the damage of my characters by a lot. Then, Arabella, you can change Arabella if you want, it's just an easy pick, but if you want to change it for something else, that's an option. And why are we using Worshipper Lapis? Because she also increases critical rate of demon type characters. So I have even more chances of critting with um, with Kurenai. So yeah, that's a thing. As I mentioned, I'm I'm not like going to crit every single hit, but every now and then there's gonna happen a crit, even in VR. And of course, this enhances the the supportive role of Lapis, as it is like having another. Uh, Momochi weapon-ish, because it gives me 16, um, 16, uh, what does it say? Increased damage to enemies when attacking the enemy with a skill by 16% for 3 seconds. So yeah, that's going to be super, super great. I'm going to deal a ton of damage onto the enemy. And then Lina. Lina is kind of the same as before. The Kahajirako, 5 out of 5. The whatever weapon, 5 out of 5. Plus 14 and plus 15. Wind Magatamas. Anti-Demon. Whatever Magatamas. Banish. Honor to Swordmanship, Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossom Frenzy. Along with Kirara. Yes, to increase damage. Arabella. Yes, to increase damage. But what's this? Lapis? Why Lapis? Well, there are two important effects like it says when performing basic melee attacks has a 10% chance to increase the damage dealt from attacks by a hundred and forty percent yeah that's like a thing for sure and her basics are mixed okay but there are more range that they are melee so don't count on it even so these basics are, are super super fast and on top of that we are equipping the Kahajirako, which further increases the speed. So that effect might actually happen, even if most of the hits are range. Then, also increases the speed of a demon type character by 12%. This is 4 out of 5, so we could enhance it even, this even further. But I'm going to be insanely fast. And with, with uh, um, Lina, that's really good. But that's not all! Reduces damage taken from all enemies by 24% for ally demon type characters. So yeah, I'm reducing a lot of damage, yeah. 
That's why with Lapis, I don't have the almighty Nana. Because I don't need her anymore. I already have a good amount of damage reduction thanks to the other Lapis. So, yeah. I mean, it's not the 40%, but it's 24%. It's, it's significant. So, the combination of Demon Protect is going to be very very useful if you have these supporters as you may have noticed i'm using many limited supporters that's the good part about having the limited supporters or only going for the limited supporters because they allow you to do these super fun strategies one limited supporter then uh what about you and she's gonna have two limited supporters and lastly lena is gonna have three limited supporters yeah Definitely, you should go for limited only. <laughs> yeah, I know that not everyone can, but they are good. They are good. So, very quickly, let's do the first run with these characters. And let's see how much I can charge my particles. Obviously, I'm going to start with the debuff. I'm also going to use the active. And I'm going to use the active of the weapon. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm also going to use the active of the weapon again. And I'm also going to use the active of the weapon yet again. That's the idea, that we abuse the active with this character. And thankfully, uh, thanks to the huge amount of damage reduction that I have, well, not huge, but consistent thanks to the supporters. I don't have to worry too much about HP recovery. Oof. As long as I let Lapis do her thing. I'm also going to use the active here. Like, I am not uh, reaching uh, the maximum amount of particles. Thus, I am not getting the... Um, Attack increase of the supporter. Maybe I should try to do it. But I just wanted to abuse the active. Oof, I use it twice or I got hit. Uh, no, it doesn't have the particle stealing effect. So I use the, the active twice. That's something that happens, unfortunately. Like, it's kind of useful and kind of bad at the same time that this weapon... Uh, you can just reactivate the, the skill because you um, you can continue the time timer and the stream of attacks uninterrupted, but at the same time, a, a misclick is going to hurt you a lot on the particle department. So that's so, a thing that I do not like. Well, 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 it was pretty okay. Like... Not the most busted thing in the world for sure, but it worked. Now, we're going to be changing the characters as they mentioned. I'm just going to remove the equipments here, here. And also this one. So I'm going to be using, of course, Kirara. Uh, where are you, Kirara? Checking, checking here. And Ingrid. Like, my Ingrid, as you can see, is not maxed out. That's one thing to take into consideration. Oh, first. Uh, oof, this weapon is 4 out of 5. Not bad, but I want the supportive capabilities. Even if, if it's not as strong, this is better. So, burn, 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 burn. And where is the last burn? Here is the last burn. Then I equip uh, this, this. Uh, this and this, perfect. And let's do the same for Ingrid. For Ingrid, I don't think I'm gonna use this effect, but do I have a better weapon? No, I don't. So I'll use it. Oof, wait a moment. Oof, well, it is what it is. I'll have to equip her with the wind, Magatamas. 
they're not gonna help her for the most part, but as long as they give damage, that's enough. Yeah, there we go. So let's just start with Ingrid. What does she want to do? Uh, increase critical rate? Nah. Uh, this one, reduce the damage, double the size. She could go blue for sure. An evil bloom? Oof, no, I don't think so. What about Kirara? Am I going to use a pure blue team of demons with blue supporters also? Increase critical, increase skill damage, and free edge. Okay, I have frigid zone, I have leopard. I'll go blue with Kirara. Again, I'm going to be using this one. The slight speed increase on Kirar is going to be very, very good. And remember, we're taking advantage of that damage reduction. Since, since she is going to be kind of a supporter, uh, I'm going to put her the... Where are you? Nana. Yep. Since she's a protective character. And lastly... I want damage increase as well as survivability, so I'm gonna put her her own limited supporter. So for skills, th this is the weapon. This is the other weapon. Actually, the other weapon I'm gonna change because at least this one gives more stats to increase her damage. One, two, three. Two out of five plus ten. Four out of five plus thirteen. Anti demon. Fire, whatever Megatamas, Frigid Zone, Leopard Sprint, and Snow Veil with Lapis, Nana, and Kirara, Blackbeard Kirara. For Ingrid, on the other hand, uh huh, I have to check. Maybe I can do it, maybe ish. Hmm, no. I cannot equip that one. I was thinking about Anna Rose. I could equip this. And I could equip this. Yeah, we can go pure blue. Like, it is probably not the most busted thing in the world, but as long as it gets the job done. So, damage reduction. Uh, reduce the damage taken by a demon type character. Ingrid is demon. So I use this, this, and obviously uh, the classic Lilim, which is a pretty good supporter. This one is going to be full F2P for Ingrid. And we're going to put Dark Flame. And what did I lose? Dark Flame uses Hold Attack. Mm, evil Flare. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I love Evil Flare, but uh, reduce the enemy damage. That's not important. Uh, increase the range. Could be used for sure. Increase damage. Mid skill. Oof. Uh, no. Increases damage. Yeah, actually. And for this one. I don't need these ones. Uh, I can go with this. Perfect. So Dark Flame, Blinking Ember, and Evil Heart Blast. There we go. Obviously, uh, uh, Lapis is going to be the same. And perfect. With this, I should be pretty tanky with every character. Thanks to the uh, huge damage reduction that I have. And uh, yeah, now I do have huge damage reduction. Uh, the only disadvantage is the fact that my Ingrid is not um, like on the right level. But she's a strong even so. I think she can do the... The deed. <laughs> Oof. There. Nice, nice. Yeah. Evil Flare. No. Uh, dark Flame is 
super super good with these bulky enemies it's something that you do want to use and being slow is probably one of the best things because it deals a ton of hits okay i'm gonna use the ultimate Perfect, nice. I'm gonna use the active tool. And perfect! A ton, a ton of damage. Look at that amount of debuffs. God, great. Super easy. Super, super easy. When you put so many synergies into your team, they're gonna perform incredibly. I mean it. Like, obviously, there's these busted over strategies uh, that you can abuse, uh, especially at higher steps. But this is just fun to use. Like, using everything at your disposal to, com to combine all these effects and make your team really, really strong. I didn't even check... Uh, you you might tell me guys when you see the video, but I didn't even check if I had any kind of um, protect uh, damage reduction. But yeah, this is strong, so be sure to use it whenever you can. Oh, and by the way, I do have the same uh, passive, uh, Adventure Hunter Timonin. Obviously, you could also change it for one that benefits demons in case you, you do not want to use this, specifically for this team that is going to be full of demons. So tell me, have you ever used a team that focuses on both traits synergizing? Let me know in the comments, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye!